It's good to know that at least they're pushing forward with the investigation. Owner Royden Oyerbide had a gun held to his head when three men rushed into Marsilvia Jewelry mid-afternoon 10 days ago. His brother Fabian was pistol whipped during the frightening incident. And now he's learned that one of the suspects, the so-called mastermind Jermaine Oliver, had previously been in his store posing as a customer. It's just very brazen and this is somebody that's been in my shop and has actually shook my hand. And um, as a man, that, that's, that's, uh, it hurts. We know everything that happened. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says accused ringleader Oliver got another suspect, James Casali, to rent a car for him. This car, which, along with its license plate, was seen on surveillance outside the jewelry store. Detectives tracked it to an Orlando rental company. When they searched the vehicle, in between the back seats is a gold medallion that comes back to the jewelry store. Sheriff Chitwood says there was glass in the vehicle as well. Glass from the jewelry store cases that were shattered during the robbery. He says detectives pressed car renter Casali, who led them to Oliver. We know who rented the car. We know who set up the robbery, who cased the place, and who was recruited to go into that store. The three armed men who went in that jewelry store have been identified, but they're not yet in custody. However, investigators believe it's only a matter of time. Meanwhile, store owners are on the job, a little more wary, of course, but despite the violence, not deterred. We're a family. We've been here for 18 years, and we, uh, we're not going nowhere. In Deltona, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.